Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you 29 November. This is it. Make no mistake where we are. Last day of the month. Uh, 11th month of this miserable year. Here we are. Uh, three point range overnight in Euro. Well, five point range, 0712. We talked about it yesterday. No point in beating a dead horse here. Uh, 109.90 is important. If this thing starts to flush back up through uh, 110.35, we'll start looking at the long side. Right now, we're just sort of square, waiting for this thing to decide. Um, looks like we're going to at least take a take a visit at 109.90. My longer term view is is euro quite a bit higher, uh, but there is some money to be made around 109.90, so we're just sort of keeping that in mind. Darien doing nothing, um, 15 point range, 60 the high, so it was a new high, but we couldn't quite hold on to that. Back down at 46, very, very quiet. Um, not really sure what's going to create energy today. We've got uh, some inflation numbers out of Europe and some employment numbers out of Europe, um, but I don't know. There have been days uh, on the Friday of this week over the years that have been quite wild, so we have to remain vigilant, but looks like uh, it's going to be a quiet one. And we'll have to see if... Uh, inflation rates change in Europe and how the employment numbers look but overall looks looks very very quiet morning um, and then in the afternoon we do have Canadian GDP so CAD actually will probably move uh, on that release but for the morning looks looks pretty quiet Aussie could not really hold below that um, 67 67 level now we're just trading water this thing looks like um, she wants to go back higher just boring really I mean nothing nothing much to say except for just general boredom um, nothing to do with the Aussie if you're short you should probably just square it just no conviction either side and, uh, you know, got to wait for something uh, that we can sink our teeth into. Aussie Yen, watching this line now. Um, no follow through on the news on the China slap yesterday. So here we are uh, back at 74.15, Nowheresville. Um, top side up at 28. It's kind of like the Euro chart. Uh, freeze it on the top side and then this trend line on the downside um, is sort of the risk on support uh, and if it breaks it should coincide with a risk on break cable boring uh, 0518 you know some stale longs from yesterday are getting whacked we're just keeping our eyes very very closely on 128 28 and also uh, 127.70 does feel like there's some stale longs out there and this there could be some sort of washout in the coming days maybe a low liquidity washout news driven drive by who knows uh, just feels like that no real evidence uh, to speak of we're square cable at the moment Yes, I mean, it's a red bar yesterday at the all-time highs, but, you know, we can't really get too excited about any of this. We're just waiting waiting to see what's going on with the Chinese news, with the China trade war news. Um, red bar, but meaningless red bar uh, as far as we're concerned. Boone's doing nothing as well. 14-point range yesterday. We're still core short. Um, we will add shorts up at 172. Uh, nothing going on. So 
So rather than just listen to my own voice here, um, as you can see, very, very little to sink our teeth into, very, very little as far as the setups are concerned. Um, we'll have a closer look at Dollar CAD after lunch today, 2.30 Swiss time are the numbers, but looks like a very quiet morning. We will have one eye on Euro Dollar in case we take a visit at the 109.90 level. Otherwise, uh, looks like we're going to be doing very much of nothing today. Who knows? We can always hope uh, for some vol, but uh, patience looks like the trade today. How many times have we said that this year? Good luck out there, people. Uh, have a good weekend. Uh, new month on Monday, December. Hopefully, we'll have a good one. All right. Talk to you guys uh on Monday. Ciao.